I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands, That's right. Move over, Miley Cyrus, Taylor Swift. <laughs> that was the song that is at the top of the iTunes charts. I mean, number one. It's called Justice for All. President Trump saying the Pledge of Allegiance and a group of J6 prisoners singing the national anthem. They're part of a choir. And it was a project spearheaded by RAV contributor Cash Patel and American Sunrise co-host Ed Henry. And Ed Henry happens to be in the house hey, with us right now. You. Good, to, good see to see you. David Zare is going to be joining us a little bit later. He's yeah. in my old stomping grounds. But good to see you. This is huge. You're kind of a big deal. Well, I'm not. Uh, I think uh, President Trump is. I think uh, these yeah. J6 prisoners are getting yeah. a new look from the American people, right? That's the point of it. Uh, I, I think uh, you mentioned iTunes. Since Friday, this has been number one. Amazon Music, a few minutes ago, it's up to number two. Uh, Donald Trump and the J6 Prison Choir are now in the top 10 in Israel, the United States, the UK, Canada, Australia, Netherlands, Norway, Denmark, Singapore, and South wow. Africa. And those are just the ones that we've been keeping track of. It was an honor to play a role in this, and I think the key is that when you combine Tucker Carlson's reporting with some of the efforts we've been working on in recent weeks behind the scenes, these people, um, some did wrong, many did not, many were peacefully protesting, and because of a narrative set up by the left, some establishment Republicans, they've been railroaded. They're not treated like Americans. Right. Yeah. If they did wrong, put them through due pro put them through the judicial system. Make right. sure they have due process and constitutional rights. And so we're raising money with this song. Donald Trump donated his time when we approached him in private and said, I don't want anything. I want to help these people. Uh, and the J6 Prison Choir was a name we came up with behind the scenes because they don't have a name. They're all nameless and faceless in mm -hmm. some ways. Many of them haven't seen their families for months and months, yeah, in right. some cases for a couple of years. Yeah. They, they don't get good meals. Um, they get brown water They don't uh, you know to drink. They, get, uh, uh, they don't get hot water for a shower every day in the D.C. Gulag. Some of them yeah. are now being moved. I wonder if that has to do with Donald Trump giving them the voiceless some voice, yeah, literally, yeah. with a song. Uh, and I also wonder whether it has to do with Republicans in Congress who get credit for standing up and saying we want to go to this prison, like MTG and others, uh, Congressman Comer, uh, to say enough is enough because not enough people have stood up for them. And I'm proud to be part of an effort where President Trump uh, and others are standing up. There's others involved, by the way, uh, who are very prominent. Uh, and are great American patriots and at some point may come forward, but they just want to make sure, as do I, that the focus is on the president and, more importantly, the J6 prisoners. Because, in fact, the president was on True Social this afternoon mm -hmm. and someone was complimenting him about number one and he said, it's about these guys. Yeah. And so, look, I, I heard that at Mar-a-Lago, I wasn't there the other night, that the president played this mm -hmm. song and that everybody stood up, you know, hand on heart, with beaming with pride, and that's the point.